All right, so good afternoon. Today we're going to be showing you how to create water bottle tags using nothing but Microsoft Word, uh, Search Browser, and Paint. All things that come standard with Microsoft Office. Okay. I'm using Microsoft Word 2013, which is a more recent than some of my other videos that I have done in the past. All right, so let's go ahead and recreate this. Now again, this is just showing you an example of how to create something like this. Um, feel free to change any of the colors, any of the designs, any of the backgrounds. You can create um, polka dot backgrounds, stripe background, horizontal stripes, diagonal stripes, chevron prints. Uh, really, it's endless. I just wanna show you the basics of how you can create virtually any type of water bottle tag or printable. All right, so in order to recreate this, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is click on insert, and let's go ahead and insert our shape of a rectangle, okay? Now the rectangle shape we wanna click on format is two inches by eight inches. So we're gonna click on two inches by eight inches. And this is gonna give us the basic shape um, of our water bottle tag. And again, this fits um, most general water bottles. Now you see that green line that goes down the middle? That's to ensure that this water bottle tag is centered. Something else I've done already was I've gone to the home, I'm so sorry, I've gone to the design layout and I've done the orientation as a landscape view. And you want the landscape view because it is, the water bottle tags are typically gonna be wider than they are um, taller. All right, so um, now that we have our basic shape, um, we're gonna to wanna to click on that shape and do a shape fill of no fill. And we'll go ahead and change this outline a little bit later. Let's um, right now work on getting the um, design color filled. So I have a browser and I'm gonna type in purple, green, pink, polka dot. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on images. From here, as I scroll down, I can see my image right here. I'm gonna click on that image, I'm gonna right click on that image, and I am going to save picture as, and I already have it here, we can just save it as pink, purple, green, and let's go ahead and replace it. And let's go back to Microsoft Word. Okay. From here, we can go ahead, insert picture, and let's insert this picture. Okay. So as you can see here, this is a very large picture. It's also not really um, very easy to move around. If you click on it and try to move it, you can't really do that. So if you see this box up here, you wanna click on layout options and click on in front of text. The other thing you can do is click on the format, click on the position, and click on more layout options, and we wanna do in front of text. Okay, just two different ways of doing it. So now that we have this, we can now easily move this image around. Okay, now we wanna click on this, and we know we want this to be two inches high or we can click two inches wide, okay? So now, if we move this image, we can move this to fit within our water bottle tag, okay? From here, we can go ahead and right click, click on copy. We wanna click outside, and ensure this is not selected, click all the way on the top, and then right click and paste and keep source formatting. By keeping source formatting, you're not gonna have that really large image as you did before. Now clearly this doesn't line up exactly, right? The colors are off. So what we need to do is we need to flip this horizontally. So while this image is selected, we're gonna click on format and we're gonna click right here for rotate object and click horizontal. Okay, again, that was right up here and we did the flip horizontal. And let's actually do that one more time. There we go. And then we can very easily move this um, to make that one continuous picture. Now let's go ahead and highlight one of these, press the shift key, highlight the second, so they're both images are selected, right click, click on copy, click outside of those images, and then right click and click on paste. And once again, keep source formatting. 
and from here we can very easily just move. Now as you can see this is moving in a sort of a fine grained way. What I have is I have um, selected the images and I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to move these sort of one pixel if you will at a time. So from here I want to highlight all of these and I want to move these so they're more centered. Okay. And now we have one continuous image and a nice background. So now let's go ahead and click on that initial box that we first put in there and we want to right click and we want to bring to front Okay, because I added those images on top of there so that that wasn't the the first image on top so they were laying on top of that so we want to bring that shape to the foreground. Okay, Now we want to make that shape the exact color as that purple dot. In order to make it that exact color of that purple dot we need to figure out exactly what the color is. So you can go ahead and open up Paint. Oh man. Sorry about that. Let me start up. You can open up Paint. And we can go to File, Open. And let's open up our image. And we can click over here on the color picker. We click on the color picker. We want to pick on the purple. Now we know that color is selected because we can see the color one here. But what we're interested in is clicking on Edit Colors. When you click on the Edit Colors, you can see down here that it shows you the red is 159, the green is 0, and the blue is 93. And those are the only numbers we really care about. Okay, Let's keep paint open because we're going to have to go back and get the rest of the colors as well. So now that we have this shape highlighted, we want to click on Format because we want to format that rectangular shape. And we want to click on our shape outline of more outline colors. And we want to have the red as 159, the green as 0, and the blue as 93. And now we have that exact color purple. And let's do a shape outline of 6 point. Okay. Now we need to add this circle in the middle. Let's go ahead and insert shape. Let's insert a circle and let's just click anywhere because of course we're going to be clicking on format, clicking on size, and making this 2 inches by 2 inches. And we can go ahead and again line this up with the green arrow. And we want to click on the format and we want to do a shape fill of white and we want to do the shape outline of that pink color. So once again, we need to open up Paint, click on the color selector, click on the pink, ensure that that pink color is selected, click on the edit colors, and as we can see, this is 237-0-140, as we can see right here, and so we want to click on this circle, and we want to click on Format, and we want to do a Shape Outline of More Outline Colors. Again, ensure Custom is selected. And we want to do 237. Oops, sorry about that. 0, 140. And now we have that exact color pink. Okay. We want to click on format and we want to make that um, that weight that's about a three point. Okay. Now, and again we can move this up and down just by clicking on the arrows. Now we want to add this interior dotted line. So we're going to once again insert a shape, insert a circle, and once again we're going to format and we're going to change the size to 1.9 and 1.9. We obviously don't want to make it 2 because it's an interior circle. And we can go ahead and select this and then move the arrow keys. And we of course want to format this and do a shape fill of no fill or you could do a white fill totally up to you. And shape outline of green. I'm not going to show you how to get that green color again because I've showed you how to do that twice already, um, but because I already have it saved, um, it's saved in there, and we want to go ahead and change the weight to one, in, or the weight to one and a half, and change that to a dotted line. Okay. 
Now finally, we want to add our Janelle and Jamie. So we want to insert a text box, and we want to draw our text box. And let's go ahead and make that text box about yay big. And again, we easily could have done two by two as well. Um, and here we want to type in Janelle and Jamie. And we want to highlight that. And the font we used is Rage Italic. And in all of my prior videos, I do show you how to download and install new fonts. So if you don't know how to do that, please watch any of my prior videos. And let's make that an 18 point font. And then what we want to do is click on Format. And we want to click on the um, transformation of the fonts and click on Transform. And what we want to do is select the arch up. Okay, y'all saw where that was. You click on format, you click down here, transform, arch up. Okay, so from here, if you click on this pink circle, oops, there we go. This is how you can see where the arch is and move it around. Okay. What we want to do is, because we can't really see because uh, where the circle is because of the, the shape fill, we want to click on that text box and have the text box be a no outline and have the text box be a no fill. Right? And then we can see this pink, this arch. And from here we can go ahead and see that we might want to make this a little bit smaller and see that the arch fits perfectly right there. And then we can very easily grab this little circle arrow up on top and move the Jamie and Janelle. Okay. From here we can go ahead and insert our rings. So let's go back to Google and we want to type in rings and we want to look for a dot PNG. Let's go to Google. Um, and why we want a PNG is because we want that transparent background. Most images have sort of a white text box around that. We don't want a white text box around it. We just want um, the image itself. So it really doesn't matter what image you, you use. Um, I think this might have been the one I used. But what we want to do is copy, and if you can see this white and gray um, checkered background, that means that there is actually no background at all. All you're going to get is the image. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. We want to save picture as, and let's save it as rings too. And if you notice, that was a .png file format right down here. Okay, that's what we want to keep it as. And we want to, again, click anywhere. You want to ensure that none of the boxes are selected when you insert. We're going to insert a picture, and we're going to insert our rings2.png. And once again, as we did before, we want to in front of text. And again, I showed you the other way to do that. And very easily, you can now drag and drop. And as you can see, there is no white text box around this. So anywhere on the image, all I have is the image itself. That's what I was talking about previously when I said the .png, you don't get that white box around it. You can literally put the image anywhere and it, it just shows the image itself. Finally, all we need to do is add our final text box where we want to draw a text box. And again, I just clicked on insert text box. And we want to say, here's to their happily ever after. And with this text box, of course, we want to format this text box. As you can imagine, do a shape fill for this text box of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Okay. The here's to their happily ever after. We want to go to home and we want to center that. We then want to move this here. Here's to there is actually Calibri Light. And the happily ever after is a script. And I do show you again how to download fonts in prior videos. And I believe this is a 28. And as you can see, you can play with the text box and move it up and down and ensure that it's, it's centered if some of the um, text gets caught, um, gets moved. Now, as you can see here, 
the here's to their happily ever after, the spacing isn't right, that will happen sometimes. And if that does happen, you need to um, click on home and click on the line spacing options. When you play, especially with different font types, and more importantly, you change the fonts um, sizes, uh, the spacing will get a little messed up sometimes. So again, if you saw that, that was home, line spacing options, and you want to ensure that after is set to zero and line spacing is set to single. And that's how you can correct that. And then the happily ever after, we want to click on home. We want to change that to that pink. And then we also added a text effect. And the text effect, we actually added a shadow and we added the inner inside top shadow. And it just kind of adds a little something extra to that. It makes it almost look a little 3D. And that's how you can create um, very easily a water bottle tag. And again, you can um, make these to fit any theme, any colors, any shapes, any sizes, any fonts, um, change the backgrounds, but hopefully I've given you enough to take the basics of how to create these. Uh, if you did like this video, please like it on Facebook and um, please feel free to watch any of my other videos as well. I think they're um, pretty helpful uh, when creating your own printables. Thanks so much and I hope you found this helpful.